good start for Venus. Players on that side today, the side she's serving from, have been having a little trouble with the sun and the wind blowing tosses on serves around, but Venus had no trouble at all with that first point. A little sloppy on that forehand. Well, the forehand side of Williams not as good as the backhand, though it's improved considerably in the last 18 months or so. First ace for Venus Williams. Lisa Raymond trying to play a little finesse here. She tells us this went through the ball, but she tried to play it a little cute and draw an error from Venus's forehand. Nothing doing. Easy game for Very Venus nice. Williams, and she's on the board. She leads one game to love. Having seen her play a lot in the last couple of weeks, Joel, the thing that has impressed me so is she's playing Lisa with, with Lisa such Lisa. power, but also much more intelligence. Very much so. I think we see that a lot from Venus, and it'll be interesting how it manifests itself in these return games. Lisa Raymond to serve. See how close Venus is standing and to return the serve. Back a little takes the big cut. 15-30. As you can see, because of Venus's power, Lisa Raymond isn't doing what she normally would do in a match, and that's serve and volley. And there are not many serve and volleyers left, are they, Joel? No, mostly just uh, Lisa Raymond and Natalie Toziad are the ones at the highest levels. Kind of shocking with the retirement of Yana Novotna and Martina Novotrilova. Uh, servant volleyers are make it to a point on the women's game where we don't see any servant volleyers at all. Well, the quality of the return of service picked up so well in both the women's game and the men's game too that we it, it's just it's a play tennis played a little differently than it used to be. Raymond doing a good job scrambling around the court, varying the pace. Hit a couple of slice backhands and rolled over a forehand. Venus Williams makes an error and Raymond has an ad. Lisa Raymond, hold serve, got one game piece. One game Four minutes, Joel, it seems like it's more time than that, but that's what the scoreboard says. Fifteen minutes. Venus Williams, second ace. Thank you. 
Venus Williams holds. She leads two games to one. Lisa Raymond to serve. So that's the tough Love thing is that Lisa Raymond, while she can get in first, even if she gets in first, serves her. Serve is only moderately good, and Venus can really lean on that back, that return, particularly on the backhand, and compromise her on the volley. Again, you see Venus leaning in to return. She'll probably take a step back and then hit it there back. And, oh, well. Hit it, she did, but she also missed by quite a bit. And it's 15 all. I think thought it was wide and the ball was good, called good. Let's see it again. Here it is. Let's see out to the corner and oh, right on. It right on. Good call. Nice camera work. Lisa Raymond in a bit of trouble here. Oh, that's a nice shot. Shows a little power herself, Lisa Raymond, which is crazy. Don't have to be big to get pace, but Raymond timed that one nicely. Raymond just 27% on the first serve percentage, so. Oh, well, that's costly. Jeez. Takes it to deuce. Simply can't give Venus Williams a player of her ability free points. No, got a game points, want to get that, seal the deal on that game. Very hard nets at the U.S. Open. <laughs> Nicely played by Lisa Raymond. She now has an ad. <laughs> from Raymond to tie this match up. Really super movement. Both the ladies are very Ooh. athletic and this is Ve good handwork from Raymond. Venus Williams makes a fabulous get and Raymond shows her ability. Venus Williams now serving. Scores two all.
Love a sloppy Venus. serve by Venus. It's her first double fault. are well measured and it's causing Venus Williams some trouble. That yell just came from uh, Renee Stubbs, Lisa Raymond's doubles partner. It sounded like her voice. We've seen Renee Stubbs later today playing mixed doubles against the legendary serve volleyer Martina Natalova. Bad left for Raymond. That was a good tactic, hitting the ball deep down the middle to Venus Williams' forehand. A lot of action on that second serve, and... Venus Williams is ahead, 40-30. Another big serve from Venus Williams. She leads three games to two, first set. Another aspect of intrigue was that Lisa Raymond, despite being ranked number one in the world in doubles last year, was passed over for a spot on the Olympic team in favor of Serena. Serena and Venus went on to capture the Olympic gold medal, so it's just some of the wacky world of tennis. A little long with that one. What was interesting that Lisa Raymond went to court, to court to try and get uh, the decision changed and uh, was unsuccessful there. And then, as you said, Joel, the Williams sisters won the gold medal. I think she's gone to tennis court and proved her point by winning the US Open doubles last year with Renee Stubbs, but alas, she didn't. And here she is. Oh. 15 minutes. Well, Again, Raymond pressing on the serve. You just see only making 29% of her first serve so far. Two double falls. She knows how important it is to make them, and yet it's tough to get. It's tough to serve well against Venus Williams. I mentioned earlier about her, her forehand going to miss, and there you saw it. And she trails 15-40. Venus Williams has two break points. Venus Williams' forehand goes to sleep. And Lisa Raymond saves one of the break points. Extraordinarily good volley, and Venus Williams was just better. 
Well, that was a nice volley, and uh, that's part of the new intelligence of Venus Williams. I think there might have been a time mark where Venus might have just tried to rip the pass, and she just lofted that lob right over her head. Not too much topsoil, just enough to bring it right down on the baseline. Love 15. Joel, I agree. In fact, in watching the point, I, I kind of got up in my seat because I was looking for Venus to really unload on it. She showed good touch. <laughs> Venus doing what Venus does best, winning points. And boy, did she win that with that forehand. Next. First serve. Well, there's a saying that goes, if you, have, if you feel your strengths are better than the opponent's strengths, just go out and bring them. Oh. 15-30. Williams throws in a double fault, her second. She had so much depth on that ball, Lisa Raymond was forced into short hopping it. Didn't have enough time to make a full stroke. Just feel the heat, the power of Venus Williams just bearing down on Lisa Raymond, just already feeling frustrated by it. Next. First serve. Williams, she leads five games to two, first set. Williams leads five games to two. Ready for play, please. Lisa Raymond to serve, new balls. It's interesting to see here if the new balls help Raymond more Williams on the return. Lisa Raymond got the best of that. I think the point's well made. It's a good serve, her fastest of the day, 97 miles an hour. The uh, courts are playing faster here, and of course the stadium courts, uh, Louis Armstrong Stadium and Arthur Ashe Stadium are slower than the outside courts. And from what the players have been saying, though both the stadiums now are playing faster than they ordinarily do. Balls are supposedly like rockets. Not rod laver, but very quick. Well, Mark, maybe you can explain the difference to our viewers about the women's ball versus the men's ball, because I know you have covered some of the differences between them. Thanks, Joel. We got into that the other night, and I have no idea. I will tell you what was reported, and I will leave that up to the viewers. Let them decipher it. Oh. oh. Again, that's just a good example of just having no say in the conversation. Hit the serve, and good night. Look at this here, Raymond. That's a moderately good serve. About 94 miles an hour, and Venus says batting practice. A baseball term used here in the United States. Raymond holds though, but Venus Williams will now serve for the first set. She's ahead five games to three. I was told by the official referee there's a difference between the men's ball and the women's ball, and the men's ball is harder to compress, and the women's ball is easier to compress. And ordinarily, what they try and do is you would think the men's ball would be easier, so that would slow the ball down when it hits, so when it hits the court, it would be less quick. But like I said, that's what I was told. I'll let everyone decipher make of that what they will. They'll probably say that guy should just stop talking, and I will. 
Venus Williams leads 30 love. I just saw leaning over the court seats watching uh, former New York Mayor Dave Dinkins watching Venus play sitting right behind the court. And Venus Williams with two set points. Again, when, when Venus Williams misses, loses a point, she misses it so badly that Raymond's even wondering, well, did I do anything to win that point? What did I do? Of course, in her earlier career, that used to kill her. By that, I mean she hit five winners and then make 15 errors just as she has done in this game. She made it much more difficult than it need be. Raymond's fought off two set points and let's see what, if she can make a go at this. Oh. That was Lisa Raymond, sixth on force air. Venus Williams has 16, but she also has another set point. So she's just, she's calling every shot. Oh. Smart yes. serve by Venus Williams. She took a little off, spun it in, and with that, has won the first set six games to three. Lisa Raven to serve. Very important for Raymond here to start getting in the first serves. Love Not a good start. That's her third double fault. Lisa Raymond seems to be doing something different on her serve. I don't know if it's she's pulling her head down, but it doesn't look like Lisa Raymond's normal serve. It does, it's funny you mentioned that about pulling her head down when she started serving to the net. I thought that on the first serve of the game. Now it's gusty out there, as we've mentioned, so there's there's a little bit of trouble with your ser with service tosses, but. Oh, smart move by Lisa Raymond. Lisa Raymond, that, that backhand a bit reminiscent of Natalie Toziat, who last year extended Venus to three sets here in the quarterfinals. To pace off it. Oh, good serve, better return. Raymond gets it up, but just brings it into the wheelhouse, and Venus very hard to swing balls wide to her such great wingspan, able to strike the ball so well. Four 
Good, good reaction here by Raymond. That's a tough shot. Sign of her double strengths. It's a real good doubles play. Very agile. Oh, nice touch by Venus. Great move, and you see the Williams family box that Mother Orsine scratching her head in the upper now, left. A year ago, you wouldn't have seen her make that shot. She would have tried to hit it too hard, and you notice a little bit of finesse now. Just what Venus Williams needs, more, more shots. Tremendous athlete. Her, her opponents don't like the idea of her getting more shots. They make it even harder to beat. With her fourth double fault, Lisa Raymond gives Venus Williams a break point. Venus was trying to out, out slice Raymond and just had no no coordination or movement on that backhand. She threw in a side spin forehand in the middle of that point too. Not the most natural shot for Venus. Net. First serve. Probably see that a lot at your club, but usually not much on the Pro Tour. That's since about 1947, right, Mark? And another break point for uh, Venus uh, Williams. Uh, Longest game of the match. And yeah. Venus Williams yeah. takes yeah. the first game. She leads one game to love. She won the first set, six games to three. What I like about Venus Williams in the last year is the way she's become just so much mature, so mature and, and business-like on the court. Doesn't cause a lot of, call a lot of attention to herself, doesn't hump her fist, just goes about her business. And it's, it's a form of respect for her opponent also. She's just taking care of herself and her tennis. Stands here absolutely packed. Oh, big Get serve. 114 miles an hour. Next. First serve. Fifteen mile an hour serve and a winning forehand. It's a tough combination to beat. A lot more compact Venus Williams on the forehand than she was two years ago. Much more efficient, and I think she's she's just taught that stuff that to herself through experience and practice. Oh. Bad luck to Raymond. Though Williams made a fantastic get off the forehand. Game Williams. Williams holds. She leads two games to love, second set. Williams leads two games to love.
Love 15. Far too many double faults. Fifth double fault for Raymond. And not enough first serves. 42%. She needs to be well into the 60s if she's going to have a chance against Venus Williams. Again, another missed first serve. Oh. 30 -15. When Venus Williams goes after a ball, you, you have to appreciate the fact that she's not going to take a short, little, concise stroke. She's going to give it a ride. She sure is. She's up a service break now. She figures, well, why not? All or nothing at all. Oh, Raymond just miserable serving from her. And I'm sure when she looks back at this match, that's what she'll see is a telltale sign of. Another freebie. Sergio. It's almost like Ray Raymond's mechanics have, have run off. Well, I think the intimidation and the nerves she's feeling. Let's see, what is that? A little tattoo? Is that a, a frog? It looked it's a little Kermit's, bit like it. Kermit the frog? Kermit could serve better, though. Kermit had a good kick serve. Oh. 30 40. Oh. Another break point for Venus Williams. Should say break point opportunity. That's good tennis from Lisa Williams. That's the nice, I mean, that's a, that is a tricky way to make a living against someone who returns and passes as well as Venus Williams. She's, Raymond's coming into the, the jaws of a shark. Well, she made a good half volley and was successful. Forced she put Venus pressure. To, exactly. Just, she gets right behind the eight ball when she misses these first serves. She's got one first serve in this game. But she was fortunate because Venus Williams misses a return. Lisa Raymond now has an ad. It's proud they want Raymond to stick in this match and not be run off the court. on the scoreboard in the second set. Williams Venus Williams two leads two one. games to one. My goodness, first serve, second serve, no serve. Both players are having problems. Venus Williams down, love 30. Another first serve miss. Williams and we'll remember here Lisa Raymond gets her teeth more into this match the break point Raymond served at love two 30 40 so let's see now if she can get this break Whoa. Venus Williams taking no prisoners on that one but she's still down two break points. Oh, 
Oh, bad oh. shot. Raymond, she's trying to off angle that one to Williams' forehand and get the ball low, just missed it badly. Oh, and there it is. Lisa Raymond gets the break back. We're two all. You see Gigi Fernandez, the great tennis player, watching there. Matches that we've seen so far, they seem to have a little bit of rhythm, and this did, but now it, it's, the whole thing's gone off. There a point here, air, 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 a couple of points, and not much rhythm at all. And a foot fault, that's. That adds even more de-rhythm de to it, so it's very much an atonal tennis match. I like that phrase, a word, I should say, pardon me. And the one who's really taking us off the rhythm who is Venus Williams. She was in control and Lisa Raymond just trying to fight and stay in it. And I admire her spirit for, for staying in this and not just letting it go away. Again, we'll remember that love to break point where she played a good ha forehand and half volley forced the pass miss. Well, as we said earlier on, it's Venus is in charge and she can either make it or break it and thus far she's been breaking the last couple points and games. That was Venus Williams 28th unforced air and she has 14 winners. Her handcuffed her. Well, when Venus Williams went to Wimbledon. Her father danced on the top of the roof of a, of a top of a broadcast center and said, "It's Venus's party, and you're not invited." So I guess in this case, Venus wants to show it's my party, and I'll miss if I want to. things come to mind when you see a player of Raymond's ability do that. The wind swirling around and more importantly the pace and depth of Venus Williams shot. Lisa Raymond broke the previous game and returns the favor by giving Venus Williams a 3-2 lead. See, Raymond chucked her racket into her bag at that point. She knew it uh, two all, 30 all. She has a chance to play some good points and go ahead and just upset with herself. And there is this pressure that Venus Williams' pace puts on you. This match reminisces of a, it's a car race between someone such as Raymond who's got a pretty good Honda, Toyota, and, but Venus has just got at least one if not two higher gears that she can reach. Venus Williams to serve and gets the first point. And then gives it right back. There's that rhythm. Oh. 
Back to back double faults. Venus Williams sixth. Well, I hand it to Venus Williams. That was a smart choice of serve. She again spun that one in, just decided to get a serve and not the best serve. But Raymond's not, is too nervous to feel that she can confidently chip and charge. Don't quite understand why Venus Williams is going so big after her second serve. That's her third double fault. And Lisa Raymond has a break point. Nice volley by Venus Williams. Yes. Joel, your point's well made about Lisa Raymond being nervous. She did nothing with that forehand. Just didn't know, didn't lob, didn't pass, nothing. Exactly. It's almost like she was in a game of steady and they were at, at 20 all. Venus makes an error to give Lisa Raymond another break point. The game steady, ladies and gentlemen. 21 wins it, and so you try and out rally someone. And there it is. Back to back breaks, and we're three all. Well, we're reaching the point where. If someone holds, it becomes a break. So let's see if Raymond can <coughs> hold on through. Oh, oh she got away with a, a bluff of an approach shot. Raymond, she classically would have hit that down the line, realized that Venus's forehand is weaker and then hit that ball in the middle of the court. Venus was rather shocked by it and just missed the pass. Might be some more bluffing ahead for Raymond. So that would be a successful bluff, eh, Joel? Correct. Net. <laughs> Second serve. I don't know what gear Venus Williams is in, but uh, it doesn't look like the shifting has been as good as it had been at the start of the match. No, no question of that. Good serve from Lisa Raven. She's ahead 40 love in this game. Several friends of Raymond looking on, including the great doubles player Gigi Fernandez and her own doubles player, Renee Stubbs, her own Lisa's doubles partner, Renee Stubbs, with a towel over her head. Forty fifteen. Lisa Raymond made a good volley, but Venus Williams had too much more with the ground strokes. Hit her very Comfortable forehand passing shot. Look out. You called it. On the scale of one to ten, Lisa Raymond's volley would be unrateable. That was not a major league shot. When you, went, when you hit that drop volley, you better hit it very short. That one was right in the runnable zone. Oh, yeah. Heyman elected to stay back, and she wins that game. And Lisa Raymond leads four games to three. Venus Williams to serve. New ball, she indicates. It's 
the best part of the match from Lisa Raymond. That's some fine off-court play. Absolutely. She took some pace off. She moved the ball around. Oh, good shit. anticipation from Raymond on that earlier shot, but not enough. She outquicked one, but she couldn't outquick that one. Oh, it's a good big, serve from Flynn. Big serve. Game to Venus Williams. Four games all. Mark, you mentioned that this match is nearly an hour old at the 56-minute mark. Lisa Raymond, when she played in college for the University of Florida, was such a dominant player that her matches were nicknamed the Lisa Raymond Tanning Hour. The Lisa Raymond Tanning Hour, and she was an extraordinarily dominant college player at Florida. Well, that's a sweet return by Venus Williams. Williams. Lisa Raymond tried to change up. She ran a ball deep, and Venus Williams still was up to the task. Venus Williams is now ahead. Lisa Raymond serving. Love 30. Oh, I've been a sloppy air. Goodness me. Well, all right, this point here, the biggest point of the match for, for Raymond. Let's see if she can somehow jam a serve into Williams' forehand and get her way to net. Oh, oh she does, but Venus is better. She did everything that she was supposed to do. Absolutely. That's a clutch play for Venus on a... 15, 30 points, a running pass, but that, that's how she wins so many big matches with big shots at the right times. It's long. Venus Williams breaks, and she's going to be serving for the match. Well, Raymond has fought well, and she's, she's picked up her game nicely here in the second set, but just, just not enough at the right times. Too much big hitting from Venus, and again, she's got to be frustrated, Lisa Raymond, but it's very hard to play the defending champ. Well, that game uh, action picked uh, picked up. There was more more rhythm to it. I mean, more movements, more shots, and Venus just is uh, uh, the more dominant player. At least I could speak say for that game that though Raymond lost it, she forced Williams to play good shots. Exactly. And unlike earlier in the match where Raymond was missing first serves and and not giving herself a chance to volley. At least give yourself give your opponent a chance to beat you with their good shots. And and Raymond did though. I don't think she's consoling herself now four points away from losing this match. Well, you called it so well, Joel. She came in on the 15-30 uh, point. Uh, she she did everything she needed to do, and Venus Williams was just better, hit a better passing, Aww. shot up the line. Venus Williams now serving for the match, and as you can see from that crowd shot, the 
Louis Armstrong Stadium is jammed. Slice back and working nicely for her when she can get herself into the rally and make Venus hit five or six balls. Love 30. Love 30. approaches Raymond miss hits and pays the price Net. second serve Shot by Venus Williams. Lisa Raymond really hit a good approach and then had to stop because Venus Williams made such a fine get. Tremendous counter punch for Venus Williams. Oh, look at that. Big serve, 122 miles an hour, 123 miles an hour, and it's a first set point. Say match point, Venus gets it, and is a 6 3, 6 4 winner in an hour and two minutes. Not a great performance by the number four seed, but very much appreciated here by the fans in New York. Lisa Raymond put in her time, and she just couldn't match up to the skills of Venus Williams. <laughs>